starting to lay the copper out on this 20 ton installation so directly above here this is how it works there's a 20 ton condenser up there heat recovery unit and where is that other hole at oh yeah and right up where you see that hole right there another 20 ton heat recovery unit and everywhere you see the insulation with the copper sticking up, those are uh, four and a half ton air handlers. Right there, 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 there. This is just, this EMT right here, this is just for the communication wire, so it's protected. How many times have you been to a job where you got called out and there's a nuisance or it's down and you discovered somebody else doing some other work or an animal chewing through it. Somebody stepped on a communication wire or they ran a pipe over it, some cabling, did something, but they broke a communication wire. When you're on jobs like this, when it's really high crucial that it never breaks down, protect your communication wire. Yeah, that's overkill and that seems expensive and it's labor consuming, but you don't want them to die. So this is how the situation is working here. This is just one 20 ton system right here, heat recovery. And right now there's a heat recovery unit. And let's see, zip in on that. Here's the air handlers down below and this is how they hook up. So you have your pipes coming down, your suction and your liquid. It comes down to a Y, uh, y branch and then it splits up to two smaller Y branches. Then those two smaller Y branches you have your suction and your liquid off of each air handler going into each branch and they look something like this right here so i just have them in place right here god this really doesn't want to focus iphone sucks um so this is going to come to a, a y branch that's going to split out two ways so you have that hole right there and from that hole, there's gonna be a Y branch, one of these, but much bigger, coming straight down. And then from there, one pipe, uh, suction and liquid, there's gonna be two Y branches, one for the liquid line, one for the suction. One side of the branch is gonna go over to that area and it'll hook up to the suction and liquid there. And then that'll split out to two. Then that, each one of these, one suction, one liquid, are going to go to that air handler. That's system number one. Then the other suction and the other liquid are going off to where you see the other copper going over and then connecting to, whoops, that's number one right there on the floor written, so that'll connect to that. So these will be tied together, coming here and going straight up. And then off to the other section, that's two, that's number one right there. So one liquid, one suction will be going right over to those they'll bend down and they'll come into from that four and a half ton air handler and then where you see this copper coming over we'll go into this suction this liquid that's going to go over and right where you see the copper sticking up with the insulation will go right to there so a total of eight air handlers each one on their completely separate system and if any one system totally went down one day all by itself and it was 100 percent inoperable you still have a second system that's totally isolated, having nothing to do with the first system that'll be running off the other heat recovery unit up above to take over. And, uh, or it could handle 100% of the load of the room by just running harder and taking over. And uh, this is a kind of the layout right here. So you can see from the pipe beam over there, how it says system number one, air handler number one, air handler number one, air handler number one. You see how these come, are coming together? And then system number two is located up here on the roof, going up through the roof. And the piping comes down through the roof, branches out and splits up. And here's number two and number two. They're sharing, coming to the Y right here. And here's number two and number two. And this one goes right to that Y. And that one makes kind of long, come around like that to the Y. And then they go up to the roof. They hit the Y, the bigger Y branch. And they go straight up through the roof to the 20 ton unit. And as you can see, let's see if I could get this to focus close. Come on. 
As you can see, coming from the 20 ton unit, the suction line is one and three eighths inch suction line. So you got line about that big and round and five eighths liquid line, five eighths liquid line. It hits the first Y. When it hits that first Y, the suction and liquid get smaller. Now you have three eighths and seven eighths. And then from the three eighths and seven eighths, it goes out to the other two branches right there. And then it drops down again in piping size five eighths and three eighths. And then for those of you who don't know, why is the piping keep getting smaller? Because as you go down in tonnage, you have to keep the velocity of the oil traveling very fast to keep the oil going back to the compressor. If you stay the same size pipe going out to all the air handlers, you would have the velocity refrigerant going so slow, the oil would go down into the evaporator and never come back up and out and travel back to the line. It would li literally fill up the evaporator, fill up the line coming back and never make it back to and starve the compressor of oil and burn out the compressors inside the unit. And that's it. And my son, he's working up. Actually, he's buried off. You see these glue lambs, we cannot, uh, I thought I could crawl underneath there. That was wishful thinking maybe 20 years ago but uh that little area 20 years ago i would i could just barely go through it right now but my belt buckle and hips get stuck uh, i tried it and uh, if i would have kept going i would have need help uh, so we're doing one section at a time there's four sections as you can see the piping and electrical up above and up above there's eight air handlers along here so everywhere there's an air handler we have the piping and the Y piping and the branching going above, and it's going all the way to the other end. And we have two 20 ton air handlers at the top doing the exact same thing. But instead of branching out, they're just making one long piping dropping all the way through all eight air handlers to the end, because this is a long room. All right, guys, I'll see you later. And this is what our job involves. See you guys later.